Okay, everybody. Today we are going to make Neo's food. So I'm going to go step by step and show you how I make it. Um, obviously, you can make it in different ways, but this is how I make it. It's probably the most nutritious way I could probably think of making it without like going too extensive into it. So one, we're getting calcium with vitamin D. I don't think it really matters which kind you get. It's pretty much the same stuff. Some squirrel booster that one of my followers gave me. And then this is Missouri Rodent Breeder 6F. So if you want to look that up, that's what that is. So all we're going to do is we're going to take all three of those. We're going to put it in here. So give me a second. Actually, hold on. Um, I'm going to probably, it's like two cups about this. And probably like, I don't know, two to three tablespoons of that. And probably just like maybe a tablespoon of that. But after I get it blended up, I'll show you afterwards. And there we go. All blended up and everything like that. I actually had enough to fill up two of my containers that I was planning on only doing one. But after I blend this up, you can just stick these into the freezer, leave them there, and then make the wet stuff as you go along. So that way you don't have to worry about this going bad. I'm, I don't know how long it lasts for, but I'm pretty sure it lasts for quite a bit. So, And after this part, I'll show you the next step. Now that they're all blended up and a nice powdery consistency, that's usually what you're aiming for. And what we're going to do is just going to take a few scoops of this. We're going to put it right in here. That's about as much as you really want to do at a time, just because the fact that it can go bad and you don't really want that to go bad, because it is going to be moist and wet and stuff like that. So one of the major things I do is I take a blob of peanut butter and I put it in there which is a decent amount, so give me a second, can't do this with one hand. And we take about this amount. Um, probably another scoop of the stuff, like the blend, probably be better to go with it. Uh, I'll try to do all this without like a stand or something like that, so we're just gonna, you know, scoop a little bit more in there by hand, considering my spoon is already dirty. Yeah, I'm not gonna put that in there. So those can go in the freezer and be held off to a later date they'll probably be good for like i don't know a year <laughs> probably is my guess in the freezer that is my guess on that and basically what you do is you take the peanut butter take a little bit of um water i use hot water and i probably put in i don't know like a couple tablespoons also of that about something like that and then i just mix it in so let me mix this in real quick and there we go, all mixed in. As you can see, it's kind of like Play-Doh in a way. It will semi-dry out. So if you need to, you can always just add a little bit more water later on if it starts drying out. I usually keep it in a little con um, container. That way it stays from drying out as, like, as fast. And then I put this in the fridge and I think it lasts about maybe a week. I would say don't let it, like, don't feed it to them after a week. Could go bad after that, is my guess. I don't really know, but I know after a week they don't really want it anymore, so my guess is it's starting to go, like, it smells bad to them. So if they don't want to take it, obviously it's probably good to toss it. For me, I have plenty of squirrels, so it doesn't last, like, this amount will last about a week for me, considering that I can always give it to Rand. I can give it to Cindy Lou, I can give it to Bean when she's older, and give it to Little Boy, the, the girls, the wilds that I have, you know, anybody will probably take that. And that's good for, like, if you want to give them medicine or something like that, you can always mix that into it um, and stuff like that. The reason why I chose peanut butter this time is because last time, um, for Neo, it didn't seem like he enjoyed the pecan butter one that I had, so... I mixed the pecan butter in the last batch with this, and I don't. He didn't really enjoy it. Every time I tried to offer to it, he just kind of sniffed and just walked away. Like even in the beginning, like he took like the first couple, and then he was like, "Yeah, I don't really like it." So I don't think Neo's preference is um, pecan butter. So, but last time I knew he likes the peanut butter version. So that being said, it is what it is, and this I make for Neo and not really for anybody else. So. If Neo doesn't like it, then obviously I gotta um, go to his needs, not everybody else. And the rest of them don't mind peanut butter. I know Ran just goes crazy over this stuff, but 
that's it. That's how you make it. That's what I give to Neo. If you wanted to know what food I gave to him, um, how I made it, what was in it, and so on and so forth, and what you could do with it, you can always give it to your wilds or whatever you want to do. And that's a relatively quick way to do it. I use the KitchenAid processor, food processor, whatever you saw. Um, it grinds up pretty good. We use it for all our animal stuff usually. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next one.